Hi everyone, my name is Carissa. I'm one of the occupational therapists here at the Ready Care Clinic in Great Neck. Um, and I'm here today to talk to you about some of the things that um, the occupational therapists treat here, um, specifically with orthopedic conditions. Uh, we treat a host of um, orthopedic conditions such as, but not limited to, um, rheumatoid arthritis, carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, decor veins. Um, we also treat wrist and elbow injuries such as a fracture um, or anything post-op uh, surgery. Um, so one of the conditions I'm going to talk to you about today is going to be trigger finger. Um, it's a very common um, condition that uh, people often come in um, not even really knowing what it is or why they have it. So just telling you a little bit about what trigger finger is. Um, basically, it's when, the, when you try to bend one of your fingers and it gets locked or there's clicking. Um, and that's pretty much inflammation that's happening within the pulley system that's in your fingers that allow us to bend and um, straighten our fingers. So basically, trigger finger um, can be caused by um, multi-factor factorial reasons. Um, but one of, if you're wondering if you have trigger finger, um, some of the symptoms are um, you get stiffness in the morning, uh, pain when you're bending um, your finger or any locking or clicking. Um, sometimes it can be so bad that you have to really pull on it to straighten out the finger. Um, so if it's a chronic um, situation, then um, sometimes it would require surgery um, and then you can talk to your M your doctor about it um, and we will see you and treat you after you um, the surgery has been performed and one of the things we focus on is getting you back to being able to bend um, your fingers properly um, maybe strengthening your hand if that's been affected teach you about how to prevent future um, clicking and popping of the fingers and get you back um, to being able to do what it is that you do every day, such as cleaning, um, showering, dressing, um, and even working if you work a lot with your hands. So that's a little bit about what we do here at the clinic.